and my microphone is broken. What? I think I gotta throw a dang sun on here because man, this is looking sweet. Hey guys, what is up? It's Biff and you're back for another exciting episode from the Fearless Mods Garage where we're working on this 2019 Kia Stinger GTS and it's looking beautiful. It has had two weeks for the paint and clear coat to cure. So today we're gonna go wet sand, take care of some of the runs, give it a buff and polish, and then we'll be able to start putting pieces on. So let's get to making this baby look good. Stay tuned. Okay, so some of the first looks at the paint, the orange peel is a little more than what we have on the factory side. So I am going to go ahead and wet sand and buff and polish this thing so we can get it to match up perfectly and I do have those runs that I want to take care of. The one here on this back door if you can see that I'm just going to dry sand that at first to get it to flatten out and then I'll wet sand the whole thing. I have the other one up here on this fender one right here next to the wheel well and then I believe there's another one right up here on the on the edge so I'll get a little dry sand on those first as well. Door jams had just a little bit uh, more running running <laughs> um, clear coat than the other side so I'll probably razor blade a couple of those and then go ahead and get them sanded down a little bit everything else turned out pretty nice and just needs a little bit of a uh, um, smoothing out to get the trash out of the paint before we go ahead and buff and polish it for these runs here for the dry sand I'm gonna start with 1500 and see if that cuts enough if not we may have to drop to a thousand Dry sanding of the exterior runs is complete and the um, mosquito you saw me sanding up there in the black. So now I'm going to go ahead and try to razor off some of these runs here and get these sanded. We'll see how this works out. Never done this before. All right, I dropped the camera and broke the jack to the microphone, so sorry for the poor audio. That is it for the 1500. Went around, got all the clear coat smoothed out. It really was a pretty good clear coat job for me. Second time doing it. I'm really happy with it. It smoothed out nice. So now we'll move on to the 2500 grit. That will go much quicker because now we're not having to get to perfect. It's already there. So we'll get the uh, 2500 and then we'll finish it with some 3000 before we go to buffing. All right, I'm gonna do both. I'm gonna do the uh, 2500 and then wipe it and do the 3000 uh, across the whole car simultaneously.
All right, time for the last of the wet sanding, and that is the bumper. Everything else is done. So uh, 2,500 and 3,000 on this. Okay guys, finally, after a long day of wet sanding, we have got this thing ready to cut and polish. So that's what's next. I'm gonna start off by standing in the trunk and getting that black roof to a beautiful sheen. We'll work our way around and start getting this thing to a nice orange luster. It's gonna be amazing. All right, so look pretty good just with the uh, compound. So now let's get some polish on here and see how it looks. I'm gonna go ahead and shift over to the bumper and get that thing uh, shined up so it's ready to go. And then we may have to put this on pause and come back and finish it up tomorrow. Wow, this looks absolutely amazing. That scroll remover and all those steps of sanding and buffing and polishing are all worth it. This looks fantastic. I can't wait to start slapping this baby together, but that's gonna be not today. All right guys, new day here. We've got all our shining products ready to go. Bumper turned out amazing. Uh, when we finish that up, and I'm gonna go ahead and get a swirl remover coat up on the black, and then we're gonna go ahead and start cutting and polishing the rest of the orange. Like a mirror. Like a mirror, that's beautiful. Okay, top is done and looking like a sheet of glass carried back from the front one, which is exactly what we want. So that's awesome, we got the shark fin in, everything looks fantastic. Time to move forward and finish uh, compound, polish, and swirl remove the rest of the orange. And this thing is going to be immaculate. Well, all right, there you have it. We've got the clear coat sanded, wet sanded with 1,500, 2,500, 3,000. We did a compound coat, did a polished coat. We did a swirl remover and buffed it to a nice shine. And I gotta tell you, now it looks complete. This paint job looks fantastic. So. That's gonna be it for the, uh, the main part of the paint. We still have a little bit to do here and there with a little bit of black trim for the windows and whatnot, but uh, I'll get to that later. Maybe a little work on the side skirt, maybe paint, maybe not. We'll have to wait and see. But uh, yeah, it is time to now go ahead and start assembling things. Bumper, door, um, hood, and getting everything final adjustments and put together 100%. Uh, and then it's just gonna be trim work. It's gonna be Really nice, she looks fantastic. Super happy with how this turned out. A good paint job for me here in the garage to start with. There's a little bit of trash here and there, but so much better than the blue car. Uh, this turned out fantastic. Couldn't be happier with the second paint job and how well it sanded out and corrected. So, um, hey guys, it's coming along. 
I'm glad you're here with me on the journey. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. And uh, don't forget to visit some of the sponsors down below. And we'll catch you again later. Take care.